I'm at TCT Show 2017 on the Long Spot booth. And we've got my giant Lego electric skateboard and we're continuing the build of the Iron Man electric skateboard which we're printing during the show. On the Long Spot booth this year we have Ben, friends, Rachel, Rich Rap and Eric. So I've got two more Struders making parts of the board, one here and one down here. So hopefully we should get all the pieces done by the end of the show. And here's a piece I made earlier. Our booth this year is between one of the live stages, which is pretty noisy because they keep giving talks. And on the other side we've got form labs who are also giving talks, so we're a bit sandwiched in between two PA systems. It's a pretty big show this year with the usual suspects. Again we have Stratasys and we also have 3D Systems competing to get their Formula 1 cars where they can be seen. We'll be looking in this video at some of the smaller open source companies though. Right, it's finished. There we go. This one is still running, we're on... 5 hours 40 and still quite a way to go. Well, all my pieces are printed, so now it's time to start assembly. Each section is bolted onto the 2020, and I'm using these T nuts which go in and then they turn and they lock in. So that's most of it together, we've just got to get this uh, back wheel finally mounted and then we can look at the motor. Right, it's time to mount the motor on its special piece which also goes on the 2020 and I've made a motor bracket, it's got an ABS front in case the motor gets hot because I don't want the PLA to melt and that slots right in there. And we're going to glue it in with super glue and super glue activator. So this now slots on here, the belt goes on here and we can tension it by sliding this up and screwing it down. So this is the bottom of it, we should have enough bolts here to hold everything and enough in these sections to keep that belt tensioned. Right, on the Lolzbot booth we also have Rich Rat, who's a very key part of Rip Rat development and he's also got a book. 3D printing for dummies. Second edition, so this was the updated version of the 3D printing for dummies book. Uh, it goes through a lot of history and all of the different types of 3D printers that's available and you can build up a 3D printer and also lots of practical 3D printing advice as well. Uh, a lot of feedback from the original book has been put into this. So yeah, give it a go. You can get it on Amazon right now. So 3D printing for dummies, second edition by Richard Horn and Kirk. How's one? Yeah. So what have we got on the Lulzbot booth this year? 
Well, James, uh, showing off some prototype hardware. This is the LCD and SD card module for the Lulzbot Mini. Okay. Uh, this is a beta prototype, but as you can see, it's working. So this will allow people with uh, version 1.03 Lulzbot Minis and later to basically add a tetherless printing capability to their minis. Um, we're also using a new tool head. This is based on the E3D Aero, uh, Titan Aero. And so this is called the Aero Extruder. So it can print both rigid and flexible materials, which is awesome without changing the tool head. And it's also got a great big uh, part cooling fan uh, with ducts going in four directions. So it really does a great job with bridging and overhangs and things like that. Uh, we also have a prototype of our new V3 dual extruder. As you can see, the, the hot ends are really tight together in a single uh, like unibody heat sink. So the cool thing about this is it means no calibration when you install the dual extruder. You don't have to calibrate X, Y offset or anything like that. Um, and this thing is basically engineered for doing soluble support uh, prints. So for example, uh, this is PVA, uh, water soluble PVA, and then PLA. Um, and as you can see, the surface finish is really, really nice. Oh yeah, that's um, nice. And then you can also do, you know, mechani mechanical parts that require support, dissolve the support out, and then you can, uh, you know, you've got moving parts that otherwise wouldn't be printable. And when are these things due? We're not saying yet. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no, we're- So total prototype preview. Yeah, this is a prototype preview. We, we just, we don't want to announce uh, release dates until we, we're a little more confident on the, when we're going to have parts for production. I'm on the E3D booth with Rory and we're going to look at a water-cooled cold bed. So tell me more about this. Okay, um, so we've got three things here that we're exhibiting. Um, the Trident water cooling system, so um, pump, reservoir and fan, uh, and then the two hot ends. So we've got a water cooled Cyclops uh, or Chimera, depending on how you want to configure it, which will be a bone system. Uh, and then we have Titan Aqua, which is like Titan Aero, but water cooled. Um, the main thing that these do um, is run in high temperature environments, so they're meant for um, heat chambers. So if you want to print uh, engineering plastics like Old 7 Peak, they can handle that sort of thing. And uh, Ambient, they're also nice, quite compact things, so you don't have to have a heat chamber to use them. And you get a bit more sort of, um, a bit more performance, a slightly sharper thermal transition than you get with an air cooled system. Right, I've mounted my battery in a special tray on the board there with a bit of Velcro that runs underneath, and this is my speed controller, which is a clone of the VESC ESC made by Turning G. So this is a 50 amp ESC, but it does have current limiting and it has a lot of features. So it has I squared C, UART, uh, analog in, radio control in, and CAN bus. So you can dual them up. And there's a massive config utility for all of those options, including regenerative braking. And that utility is the BLDC utility, which has lots and lots of tabs and lots of options. But it will do a basic motor test and basically fill in the answers for you with the default firmware you can read off the ESC over USB. Right, that was a pretty good cold start up. It, uh, I wasn't really pulling the trigger very much, but when I did it went. The motor didn't grind like the old Lego board, so this ESC looks pretty good. I'm only on 25 amps, I could push up to 50, uh, but that seems pretty good for now. I think it's going to be pretty fast. It's much better than that radio control car ESC we had on the Lego skateboard. Right, we found a special secret place where there's no one there and there's a smooth floor and lots of place for testing. Right. This belt is weirdly stretched, so I've just borrowed the one from the Lego board, which is much more robust. Right, we'll just tension that up. There we go. Well, the belt's a bit longer and there's a bit of a gap, but that's the beauty of this sliding rail system. We can obviously get a shorter belt in the future, but it'll do for now. 
and that belt's done about six miles on the other board so it should be fine. So I just thought I'd stress that belt to see what happens by holding it down and revving it and it's actually burnt out on the floor. That's what the white is all around the tyre so I think that's going to be okay. Right we've got Joe Prusa on the electric skateboard. <laughs> He's a natural. Almost as good as boosted. It's Rich Raff on the board. Right, right we've got Brent from Lowell's Bots. All right, let's see if the hell this is to snowboarding. It's easier when you're going because it's like keeps you upright. Joseph Prusa, Prusa Research, and we're going to look at some new features of the Prusa i3 Mark III that's just been announced. Let's try to break the print, okay? So first we'll start with the filament sensor. Okay, so we cut the filament and let it run out. There it goes into the hole. It's a it's bit nerving when you, when you watch it you know, go in. Yeah. Because from the previous printers you know it's a problem. <laughs> so now it's said my filament's out and it's homed and it's beeping. It's asking you to insert a new one in. Okay. So we do that. So the Bontech drive loads the filament. So it's loading automatically. Yes. So no messing around with idlers. And then so, it should resume, right? Uh, I, I need to confirm that the filament was changed. Goes okay. again, and so does it go to the exact spot where it left off? Yes. Yes. Okay, so not just the layer, but the exact okay. piece of the piece so, of the layer. So since uh, and we can uh, we can try the to detect the, the steps. So jamming the so either axis if you jam it. Sorry. Either axis. Uh, both, X and Y. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So homes again, then goes back to exactly where it was where the jam was detected, right? Yes. Okay. And now we can try to you know power it off. 
Okay, so dead. Power back on. Uh, three homes and uh, waits for the heaters. Right. And we'll continue. And off it goes. And the last big thing right. is the new build plate, which is flexible. Okay. And the bed on the printer is uh, magnetic, so you just pop it on and it sticks. This is actually a powder coated uh, spring steel wow. from both sides, so there's no glue which makes it uh, makes it weak. So. Okay, very nice. Yeah, and when you have big print, you can just pop it off. Right, we've got Sander from Colorfab on the Whoa. board. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> so, what do we think of the skateboard? The handle okay? It's very good, yeah. After a few minutes you really get relaxed on it and start feeling the groove. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, so really happy with that ESC startup. Much better than the Lego board. So, probably be using those again sometime. And the braking's pretty good as well. So we can like watch out for buses coming and kind of yeah, slow watch down and look. Yeah, buses and taxis, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Quite good. All right. So that was TCT Show 2017. Thanks for Lolzbot for hosting me and helping me build this board with the printers. There is going to be a part three to the series where we're going to put a cover on the back and some very special accessories. So don't forget to check that out. That's all for this video, but don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this project and all the other projects. That's all for now.